cash accepted with proper ID. <laughs> well, you thought Filner and Anthony Weiner was bad. This guy's got a worse problem. That looks very painful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, girls! God, so many diets. Lose up to 50 pounds by Thanksgiving. Lose two to five pounds a week. No prepackaged meals. No calorie counting. And look, do drugs. It's fantastic. <laughs> I did not realize how different a Serbian Christmas was from our Christmas. All right. I know some Serbians. I didn't realize he did this. There is a Serbian Christmas. Apparently, I'm not sure what... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, look at this house for sale. Look, human owned. Pretty good deal. Half price to 50% off. Um. <laughs> Alan Bogus of Covington was the winner of the Marlin XL7 rifle. I don't think he knows how to handle a rifle, okay? <laughs> well, we got St. Patrick's Day. You want to go down to Mulligan's? Look, children's special, $1.12 ounce drafts. Bring the kids, whatever. <laughs> Apparently, this vampire thing is really catching on. Give blood this month and help feed the needy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this sounds delicious. Green Giant Boil and Gag Vegetables. Ah! Management changes at Amory Plumbing. Don and Joan Talbage announced that the management has changed at Amory Plumbing and Heating. The new name we called Amory Heating and Plumbing. Okay, it's, so it's been a, a huge shakeup. You know, the housing market, it's a killer. Realtors are, man, just doing what they can. You know, they got things going, the lowering prices, doing whatever they can. I think this is going to be a big one for this realty company here. $5 off your next purchase on any home valued at half a million dollars or more. Well, that's not bad. Tell you what. Tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm not even going to tell my manager about this. You buy this house for half a million, I'll knock five bucks. Off. You probably heard this, AT&T dumps Tiger Woods. But look at the lower story. Tiger euthanized at the Bloomington. Oh. Seems, you know, hey. Precision Lawn and Garden. I see why go, guys go there. We service all males and models. Oh, <laughs> Folks, it's Kids Day. Carnival rides, pony rides, and look, kids, peek inside a hearse. <laughs> what was your favorite part or event of the Walworth? County Fair. Tammy and Michael, it's nice to see the animals alive before we eat them. Very nice. A gate security worker questions a suspicious bulge in this student's pants. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, her bulge looks bigger than his. <laughs> Steger, Mucklucks, and Moccasins. 25% off, except Mucklucks and Moccasins. <laughs> All right, anyone would love cooking in this fabulous kitchen that features over 40 different cupboards and drawers. Some of the drawers pull out to make finding things convenient. Wow. <laughs> so some of the drawers actually open. That's amazing. I love these two guys. Jabbo and Steve calling all ladies. Send a picture of your bra breasts and win a prize. Send a picture to Jabbo and Steve. What, what is that? <laughs> Did it work? Apparently not. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, here is my favorite. Why, this is why men should not write advice columns. When you think advice columns, you think of who? Ann Landers, Dear Abby. All right. All right. This is a local column. It's called Dear John. You write it. Dear John, I hope you can help me. The other day, I set off for work, leaving my husband in the house watching TV. My car stalled, and then it broke down a mile down the road. I had to walk back to get my husband's help. When I got home, I couldn't believe my eyes. He was in our bedroom with our neighbor's daughter. I am 32. My husband is 34. The neighbor's daughter is 19. We have been married for 10 years. When I confronted him, he broke down and admitted they had been having an affair for the past six months. He won't go to counseling, and I'm afraid I'm a wreck. I need advice. Can you help me? Sheila. Dear Sheila. A car stalling after being driven a short distance can be caused by a variety of faults with the engine. <laughs> yeah. 
Start by checking there's no debris in the fuel line. If it is clear, check the vacuum pipes and hoses on the intake manifold. Check all ground wires. If none of these solves the problem, it could be a faulty fuel pump causing low delivery pressure. I hope this helps.